Good afternoon, you wee bastards, and welcome back to another War Thunder video with Koala. Mamma mia! Oh boy, we're starting out early with the Italian jokes. Finally! After 13 months, the Italian Ground Forces tree is properly getting added to War Thunder, and today we're doing a dev blog coverage video for patch 1.85. I would have used a face cam here, but I've been too busy to even shave recently and look a bit like a caveman, so maybe next time. That's also the reason this video is late. I would have had it out yesterday. I was hoping this announcement would come a couple of days ago, and it's ended up being almost a week between videos. I do apologize. We should be back on schedule as of this week, however, though, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification notification bell, join the 360p squad and let's get on with the video. Well it looks like pasta for Christmas dinner this year, the Italian tanks we've all been asking for, okay the Italian tanks some of us still care about by this point, are coming to the game within the next month. So in this video I'd like to talk firstly about the new premium tank destroyer and next we're going to go over what I'm expecting to come, what the Italian tech tree might look like to start off with. Basically think 15 variants of Simavente tank destroyer and nothing else. <laughs> So we're starting out with the new pre-order bundle that got announced yesterday, which is the Semovente 105-25 M43 Casemate Tank Destroyer. One of the more advanced tank destroyers built- <laughs> It's got rivets! <laughs> I guess this is what our Italian tech tree is going to look like. Oh boy, no puns, no puns. Straight face, professional. This little pizza box you see here is just one model of the Simovente tank destroyer I expect to see come this patch, and to put it simply, it's the Italian equivalent of the STUH, or Storm Halbitzer, the Stug with the 105mm howitzer. However, Gaijin lists this as being a rank 3 premium rather than a rank 2, so while the Storm Halbitzer sits at 3.0, I expect this one may end up at 3.3 or even 3.7, which means you'll have the 3457s and even Jumbo Shermans to fight. Of course, we'll have to wait and see. Like the German equivalent, this low velocity 105 mm howitzer can fire a heat shell, meaning it should have decent penetration at least, but its armour on the flat frontal section amounts to only 75 mm. That's less than the Storm Harbitzer, and to put it into perspective, even the Churchill gun carrier, which is bloody easy to penetrate frontally at its own tier of 3.0, has more frontal armour than this thing. My ya. Italy also failed to equip this tank with their top of the line cafe latte oil and bolognese sauce fuel, so this tank destroyer will not have the manoeuvrability to make up for that lack of armour or a good chance of dealing with flanking attacks. This tank was used by both Allied and Axis forces during the Second World War after the north of Italy was taken by German forces and production extended throughout the war, despite Italian industry of the time severely hampering the numbers of these tank destroyers that ended up being produced. The Basotto, or Dashund as it was named colloquially, will have good killing ability and with such a large and open fighting compartment, at least by looks, Gaijin may praise it with a quicker reload than its German counterpart. Let's hope. Like many rank 1 premiums, this tank is a carbon copy of one that will be in the regular tech tree, just with some different squadron markings, but the pack does come with a 1000 GE and a week's premium time, as well as a unique title and decal. Depending on battle rating placement, I really don't see this thing being useful in any way, but what do I know, right? I mean, I've only been playing the game for nearly 6 years. This does seem to set the stage for what Italy's Grind Forces tree will look like. Think France 2.0, or more specifically, the French Air Force 2.0, as Italy has a multitude of potential rank 1 and 2 tanks, tank destroyers and even some SPAA, but ranks 3, 4 and 5 will likely see few domestic designs, with the possibility of Panzers, maybe Ferdinands, and some other German vehicles potentially sitting in the tree, as well as some allied tanks and hopefully some mid-tier SPAA. If this isn't yet reminding you of the French Air Force, well, let me put it this way. I don't know much about Italian tank design of this era, but I have never heard of any domestic Italian vehicles that could suit the battle ratings of 5.0 to around 7.3. This tech tree, like both the Italian and French air trees, will be made up heavily of vehicles that sit low in the battle ratings, but comparatively high in the tiers, with Italy even having a battle rating 3.3 bomber slash attacker at rank 4 just to fill gaps. I'm expecting to see a fairly extensive first rank however, similar to the American tech tree with its multiple stewards, the Soviets with the T-50, 60, 70 and 80, and the Germans with the Panzer IIs, Panzer 35s, 38s and plenty of other low rank, um, tanks. The L6 should make an appearance, a light tank developed by Fiat, looking very reminiscent of the American Stuart. The Fiat 3000 Tipo may also come in in the first rank, as well as an interesting armoured car, the AB41. This is a four-wheeled scout car with a 20mm cannon, very similar to the German Squeezy Boy we received in patch 1.79. Joining it, we've also had confirmed the Breda 501, a wheeled tank destroyer, or technically SPAA, similar to the Russian Yag-10. 
There's the M1340, the M1542, and finally something resembling a tank that makes it a little higher than reserve tier, the M1643, which looks painstakingly like the Soviet T-80. Dear god, I hope Italy has some kind of mid-tier something. These tanks have main caliber cannons in the realm of 37 and 47 millimeters, so basically reserved tier to potentially 2.7. These are all vehicles that, in any other tree, would probably be foldered. Think of the multiple skippable variants of low rank tanks in the US, German, or Russian trees. Here, they're going to have to be spaced out just to create a line that reaches high tier, where the Italians can get a decent few options. As for low tier SPAA, another Simovente, this time with a quad 20mm anti air turret. Think of this as the Italian Rebel Wind as an anti air but maybe half as functional as anything else. There's a whole butt ton of potential Semovente tank destroyers, with guns ranging from 75mm, a 90mm version looking reminiscent of the Soviet Su-100P, and even one with a long barreled 150mm howitzer. This may be a potential high tier contender. Think of the British Conway Stage 2 with its 183mm naval gun. The only real tank I could find information on that might extend the domestic Italian representation above maybe 4.0 is the mock-up P43, essentially designed as a successor to the P40 we've had in the game for the past year. By the way, all you OG fans of the channel who are around for my video on that, let me know in the comments. God, I had like a hundred subs back then. Took you long enough, Gaijin. The P43 never reached more than a wooden mock-up stage, but it does look like Gaijin may have to add it, just for the sake of, once again, filling holes. Other than that, the mid-tiers will likely contain some German World War II tanks and some American post-war MBTs, like the M26 Arietta we have already. I know that's not actually a post-war tank, but you get the idea. They'll also likely be the M47, M48, and M60 patterns at their respective battle ratings, but it's actually at this tier, which is tier 5 to early tier 6, Six, by the way, that Italy starts to get some options. First up, the Leone or Lion, a 1970s main battle tank design that closely resembles the German Leopard 1A3. And that's basically all you need to know about it. <laughs> this design project later turned into the OF40, once again a Leopard 1 pretender, however this time slightly more advanced. There are multiple variants of this tank that could be available for implementation, the Mark 1, Mark 2 and Mark 2A, the latter of which has been sort of confirmed or leaked, as if you read the Italian dev blog in the Polish translation, among others I'm sure, it does mention this main battle tank, although it is not mentioned in the English or Russian sections, so take that with a grain of salt. This is likely going to be the end of our Italian tank tree for now, with the Mark 2A variant of the OF40 sizing up to be 9.0 to 9.7, depending on shells. The C1 Arietta is a little too good for us right now, with this tank's weakest shell option being the German DM33, as well as firing shells comparative to the DM43 and having armor similar to a Challenger 2, but we will be covering the C1 in, in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. As for other potential additions at this tier, there's the B1 Centauro, an IFV similar to the M1128 Striker mobile gun system. A modern tank destroyer built domestically with a 105mm cannon on an 8 wheel chassis, this could come into the game right now, as could the Striker in all honesty. I do hope to see that soon. There's also the Dardo IFV, a very similar design to the Warrior or Bradley, with a 25mm auto cannon and externally mounted ATGMs. However, the issue I see with this is that the missiles used by the Dardo are fire and forget missiles meaning they track automatically without any input. This is something we haven't seen in War Thunder yet, although we may be heading that way in future, and the Dardo does carry only two of these missiles, so perhaps it could be our first user of this type of weapon system, giving Italy something highly unique at least for one or two patches. Gaijin also mentioned some, quote, extremely powerful SPAGs, and there are two potential options they could be talking about to fill this role. There's the CDAM, by the way, I apologize for butchering any and all of the pronunciations in this video, but the CDAM is a quad 25mm AA turret on the same chassis as the M163 VADS, or Vulcan Air Defense System, making it somewhat familiar. The other option is the Automatic, with a 76mm anti-air gun on the chassis of the aforementioned OF40. This gun had an insane fire fire rate of 120 rounds per minute, 2 per second, and both of these SPAGs are radar equipped, meaning that Italy could be the second nation to see multiple 8.0 SPAGs. Actually, these two options very closely resemble the American counterparts. Gaijin has also mentioned some high tier armoured cars, and I'm sure there are plenty of plans which I've not gone over here, I'm not the most knowledgeable when it comes to Italian tanks, but that's really about it for the Italian tree, at least as far as I can see. It's not going to be a large one, I can say that at least. There is, however, one other honourable mention, a potential premium which lines up closely with the Japanese Type 75 MLRS. 
This is the Feros, a multiple launcher rocket system sitting on an Iveco truck chassis. Until the introduction of the Type 75, I'd not have even considered we might get this. We don't have anything else in game like this, but now it could honestly make for a decent counterpart and a very interesting addition. It is a modern truck after all. Anyway lads, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already as I'm trying to reach 10k subscribers by the end of this year. And let me know your thoughts on everything I said here in the comment section below. Also, if you do know any more potential domestic additions the Italian tech tree might see, definitely tell me in the comments. I'd love to know. Or head over to the Koala Tree, my Discord server, and hit me up there. If you lads would like to support the channel, please do head into the description and check out my Patreon, where there are unique rewards for backers such as privileges on the Koala Tree, credits and videos, Videos, and even the possibility of joining Dion Albanach in my War Thunder squadron. Anyway lads, that's it for now. Always remember to keep your bagpipes to hand, your Italian suit firmly on, and I shall see you next pizza, I mean video. I see a wee thank you to these lads for supporting me on Patreon. Geese League and Dark Recon, you lads are bro. If you wish to join them, come check out the link in the description below.